My name is Gloria Kressler. I'm the president and founder of Elite Professional Networking Group and also an editor of the Block International Magazine. This is a monthly event that we put. We have a yearly event in October, which is a, a very big one, as you know. And then every month we make a smaller one and then we launch new companies. And one of the companies we're launching is the Green Organics, you know. So the website is www.greenorganics.com, you know, so. Patricia, how mm. nice to meet you. Oh, yes. This is our second big event together. Yes. And you're Patricia Trim of Kids and Tots, Tots and, Tots and Teens, Teens in, focus. in Focus. And what are they focusing on, may I ask? We focus on the community. We focus on youths of the community and what can the community do for the youths. Wonderful. So you give back. That's we great. We give back. We get, you know, all the persons, um, role models to be role model for our youths because more role models we have in the community the better our youths we can, would You're be. You're right, the safer they are, the less they turn to crime, the mm -hmm. less they turn to drugs. Wonderful concept. Yeah. Okay, and so what else are you up to? I bet you got like five grandkids, a husband that won't let you out of his sight. <laughs> That's so true. Okay, I can tell. <laughs> yeah. So what, so what are your plans for your business? Oh, well, we plan to go into movie production, which we're looking for sponsors to help us to make that movie production. Wonderful. It's supposed to be um, the, it's a children production of a camper's face-off, um, of children being in camp. And, you know, that's how they get into the culture and start dancing and singing because it had to become into a competition. That's so great. That's and a face some of off. these kids have never even seen a tree. The no. The inner city kids, no. and it's so sad. They yes. They need to get out there and see nature. And, and see what it's all about. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So that's great. Are you from Jamaica? No, I'm from Guyana. Guyana. I'm from Guyana, South America. Wow. The only English-speaking country in South America. I actually have a friend from Guyana, yeah. and her father was... Um, a high priest or something oh, over there. Priest, okay. Lovely people, really mm. nice people. So that's mm -hmm. great. I recognize the accent the a accent. little bit. <laughs> so after you get going with this, what are, what are your plans? Do you want to do a documentary? Do you want to do a full feature film? Or do you want to do you know a series, a mini series on TV? What is your well? My plan is to have. Uh, um, a feature film. I plan is to do like mini series with the, with children Wonderful. and to have it out there. But you know, we were about to start it, but you know, things did not work out the way that we planned. But it's still in mind. It's still in progress, and it's still in process, and it will still come off. We just had a, a delay, but it's not over. Great. So we just got to get you some good sponsors there. Yes. Yes. That's I exciting. appreciate that because we need to push this children program it is. forward. It's, it's so important. If mm. the youth of our world are yes. the ones that are going to be taking care of everybody. Everybody. That's what I always say on my show. The children are the future. They are the ones. If we don't teach them today, we treat them like dogs. They will treat us back like dogs. Absolutely. We treat them. Like with love, they and will treat us back with love and, and respect. respect. And mm -hmm. they'll learn it. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. God bless you. That's such <laughs> Thank a you. great thing that you're doing. Yes. So I'm excited. This is our second gig together. together. I'm sure mm. I'm going to put you up on my website. Oh, yes. Godentertainment.net. <laughs> uh -huh. And um, I'm really pleased to meet you and be in your presence. I think you're a great lady. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate that. And tell me something about yourself now. Okay, well, I have an entertainment company, God Entertainment. Mm -hmm. This is my fourth year doing events uh, at the Trump World Bar with Gloria. I supply the entertainment. Okay. I manage and book entertainment at various events. And we also have a humanitarian aspect. We've partnered up. We're going to be doing a big concert in Atlanta, Georgia for Kids Against Hunger. Okay. So oh, yes. With the, oh, very, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, um, so it's very important to me as well to give back to the community mm -hmm. and to involve the children because it's all about the kids. We've all lived our lives and grown up and our world's in a crazy mess and we have to clean it up for the kids. Yes, because if we don't do something for them now, right. they won't be able to do something for us later. No, nope, they're going to be shipping us out to sea <laughs> without a robot. <laughs> so we got to show them 
give them the respect, show right. them what Absolutely. is the future holds for them, and then I think they will give us back and that values. respect. Mm -hmm. the, the values. The values, right. And, and this will able to stop drugs and crime, right. you know, within the community because once more adults come out there and pay attention to children, I think, the, the, the children will listen. I think it's a lack of parental yes, guidance absolutely. causes all the children to well, go down like that. they're driving like that. themselves up. They have mm. no security. No. They come home to an empty house. An empty house. Or moms with boyfriend or husband number 10. 10, yes. And these kids mm. don't know. They, they're babies. And yep. they have to drag themselves up. And they're angry and they're frustrated. They are angry and frustrated. And, and that is need to be looked into. Absolutely. Because we, we tend to say that children are... Are, but they are not. It's what we feed them with Absolutely. makes them get like that. It's and like we should, a dog. Yes. Everyone says a pit bull is bad, but yet I've known many pit bulls that are loving animals. If yes. their owner is loving and nurturing, that's what you're going to get. That's what you get. If you're abusive and unkind, that's, that's what, what you're, you're going to get. get. An angry, hostile animal. It's the same with the child. So I'm glad I'm, you have a great attitude. You're similar to mine. Thank you And very I'm much. looking forward to seeing you again. Yes, and I will And I will put there. you on our website, www.gotentertainment.net. Yeah. And we will see each other again, I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure we will see each other again because with this here, you will be on Tots and Teens. You'll be on our program in Brooklyn. And I'm going to try <laughs> to find you some sponsors. Thank you. I appreciate that. I want okay, that so badly. <laughs> Actually, we really should talk. Yes, Not we will. on yeah. air. Okay. Right. We will talk. Take care. Okay, then. Thank nice you. Speaking to you. And Bye -bye. that was Patricia and Diane King, God Entertainment. And we were giving you up to the minute as it came right from the lips of Patricia and Diane King. Thank you Thank very much. Thank you. <laughs> that was a great. Thank you. And our uh, we are here at the Elite Professional Networking Organization, and it is hosted by Gloria Chrysler, the PR production producer of the Elite Net Professional Networking. With me, I have Deidre, and Deidre is going to tell me more about the children program that they have for children who is hunger, and she will explain more about it. That. Um, of what it entails and what the organization is doing for hunger children throughout the world. Deidre, welcome to the Elite Professional Networking Organization um, cocktail reception. Um, I know that you are involved with youths and underprivileged children. You will be able to tell us some more about what the organization is all about. I see God green or organics. And you will tell us more about what it is doing to help um, children throughout the world. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. My name is Deidre Ned Baskin, and I am the Executive Director of Kids Against Hunger in Metro Atlanta. Um, Green Organics uh, International has partnered with our satellite to provide a minimum of five meals for every product purchased sold of their product. Now, the Kids Against Hunger is a nationwide organization. We have over 92 satellites mm -hmm. in the United States and Canada. It was started in 1999 by a man named Richard Proudfit. And Mr. Proudfit had witnessed children dying around him um, at Hurricane Fifi. So he came back and he decided that he needed to mass feed the world and stop uh, children from starving and dying mm -hmm. um, uh, due to malnutrition and starvation. And so today, I've been invited here by Gloria Kressler and Diane King of God Entertainment um, to share with everybody what our organization is doing and to also share um, what Green Organics is doing uh, because these are products that we buy and use every day. Mm -hmm. And so the difference is now you can get the same products that you use every day as well as save a life. It takes just 25 cents to provide a meal to a starving child. So please support Green Organics, and you can do that by purchasing products at www.queengreenproducts.com. I see here that you have, you're asking for donors. Um, you could tell us something, what you required of donors to um, be a part of the um, organization? Well, there are several ways to help. Um, number one is uh, there are always um, a need for finances, so you can definitely donate 
um, by going to www.kahatlanta.org and your donations will go to us for packaging and providing meals to children in over 60 uh, countries. You also can um, support us by being a volunteer. So if you're in the Atlanta metro area, because that's where we are, you can definitely stop by one of our packaging events and you can find that information on our website and just scoop up a couple of ingredients and know that you're changing the lives of someone that's less fortunate than you. And what made you be a part of this organization? Um, what made me be a part of this organization is that um, I've always had a passion for, um, for people, um, those less fortunate than me. And when I saw and learned about the organization and how that it was affecting kids all over the world, I participated in a packaging event and it, my life was just not the same. And so I decided that I had to do it. And so I set out to open the satellite and that's how we got here today. And what is the results of the commitment of members and um, sponsors that you're having? Oh, the sponsors, uh, the sponsors make it possible for us to be able to provide ongoing support, ongoing uh, meals and donations through to these countries. Without the sponsors, it would be very difficult because we do survive on donations alone. And so that's why companies like Green Organics, LLC that's able to see the need and, and has the heart to give back is very yeah. important that we support them because in supporting them, then you in, you, you in turn support the children um, and families that are starving. What is the response of the on, on the privileged children you know, to the organization? How, what is the response that you're getting? You're getting children coming out, people coming out to um, take what you're giving? Um, yes, we well, like, as I said, our, our, our food is sent to over 60 countries. Um, we are having a lunch event in Metro Atlanta on December the 17th where we will package 30,000 meals. We do also um, address the need here locally in the United States, wherever there's a need. For instance, Hurricane Katrina, we sent several meals as well as to Haiti. Okay. So wherever there's a need, we address that need. And yes, the response is great. If you ever come and participate in a packaging event, you will not be the same. It is the single most profound, passionate thing you could ever do and participate in. What is your response for like um, fundraising? What is your response? Like, how do you get out your fundraising? Where do you do it? Is it just in Atlanta, or you um, have it central? wherever you can have the fundraising event to support this organization. Our satellite is birthed out of the metro Atlanta area, um, but we fundraise all over. Um, we have several ways to fundraise. We, we, we of course, use sponsors. Um, we have uh, different fundraising programs that we use. We have donation boxes. Um, and then the creativity of the satellites themselves. We are autonomous, so it's up to us to raise our own funds and to generate um, finances for our mission. And so there are several different types of fundraising avenues that we take um, to, to, fund, to fund our cause. Well, I know that Gloria, um, Gloria Kressler Production Networking, Elite Networking, um, prof Professionals Networking, will be of a help to you because from Thoughts and Teens, we're glad to have you and we're glad to put it on our program and have it on air so that you could um, know more, uh, people can know more about it and um, support it. And what would be your message out there to people to come out and give their support or sponsor the organization? Well, my message to everybody is simply that it only takes 25 cents to provide a meal to a starving child. Um, so please donate, make a difference, and be the change you expect to see in the world. Um, also, you can do that by definitely supporting one of our sponsors that's here tonight, which is Green Organics LLC. They have wonderful products. products